Okay, so this video is going to be demonstrating how to clear the error flag on the inverter. And if when I come down in here, you're going to see right there, there's a little blinking, uh, right here, there's a little blinking exclamation mark. Do you see that? That is saying that there's an error. Now, there's several ways that you can clear this error. One is you literally can just turn your inverter off for a, a minute or so and then turn it back on. And when you turn it back on, you, you, you'll you have to start it. You know, uh, you press and hold the enter key when it's done booting. That process will clear it. But in this case, I don't want to power cycle the power to my house because this is currently feeding my home. So I'm now going to navigate the menus. I'm gonna hit down arrow. There's meters, settings, diagno diagnosis, and then here, failure event. If I go into failure event, then I have options in here, which is menu item 410. Uh, there's the current failure or the history failure. Uh, to clear the, um, and then there's the event history, and then it starts over. And so we're gonna go into the failures. Now, um, a warning or an event won't, even though there's a little flashing exclamation mark, it it might still be happy and and pull power from the inverter i'm sorry pull power from the generator or external power source um, but in this case i'm going to go into current failures and you'll say that it's an anti-island uh, i and then it does warning and then it, t it just repeats it and you'll see that's error number 375 so if you ever need to see what error 375 is you can then reference that to go back into the history of the errors or the warnings. Now, this is only a warning, but in this case, if I press enter, it will clear it. And so now it says empty. So now when I escape back to the main menu, you can see that there is no longer an exclamation mark here. Now that exclamation mark can cause you problems. Um, so every once in a while, it's something you just wanna check and see what's going on. My The most common issue that I've ever found is that uh, if you're having an external power source like a generator or the grid and you unplug it unexpectedly without telling the master island uh, that you want to disconnect from the power source, it will throw the error that you just saw. And what that says is I basically had an, an unexpected interruption of power, but that can cause the inverter, if you get too many of those, the inverter can go into a safe mode where it says, you know what, let's not try to tell the generator to start anymore. So that can be a reason why it wouldn't start. And then another error in there could be a uh, generator timed out, uh, generator power failure. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different errors that, that can occur. But generally, if you don't see that exclamation mark flashing there, then you're good. And I actually have another trailer I'm going to do the same thing to right now. So I'll just pause the video and go over to that one. Okay, so now this is the second trailer. And uh, this happens a lot when I'm um, charging up the batteries in a trailer. So there's my house. The trailer is behind my, my uh, razor there. I don't know. Anyway, but there's a black cord coming all the way down here over the snow. It comes in. It comes into the... And then this comes over and it comes into the... The side of this trailer this right here so what i'm doing right now is i'm planning to power this tra this trailer is going to send power all the way up to my house and on the back of my house i have this cord that's actually plugged into the back of the cabinet down here and then what happens is my uh my uh my house will say hey i got power let's uh let's go ahead and process that and use it now right now my house is not latched on to it yet because if you come around here and look at this i recently unplugged this guy from the grid or from the other trailer and you can see lo and behold there is a flashing exclamation mark so i'm going to do the exact same thing here i'm going to come down and i'm going to go to uh menu item 400 and then I go into current. And this one is gonna be a different warning. This is the anti-island slave one. So this one, the, the slave through the warning, and I can go ahead and clear it. 
Uh, sometimes you have to hit it twice. Now it just changed to error 174 and this is the master saying the same error. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear that. And now it's empty. So now when I come back here, you can see that there's no more exclamation mark there. And that's how you clear the errors. It's not terribly difficult, but you have to remember to go in. And sometimes there can be like 20 or 30 errors and so you're hitting enter, 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 enter. And the only way to know that you're actually clearing them is that you'll see that little number in the upper left-hand corner change that says, oh yeah, we're, we're moving, you know, we're, we're deleting these current errors. And it's good to check your current errors every once in a while, um, but generally speaking, um, it's something that you did. Like, I don't think I've, I've rarely had issues where uh, it threw an error by itself. It's usually because I'm starting or stopping the external power source, so. There's the menu, uh, there's the video, I'll post this shortly. Remember, subscribe, and uh, uh, maybe after a few thousand of you subscribing, I'll actually make more videos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, hope this helps somebody out there.